Here is the crab upside down. Uh, when I found him, some kind of seagull, maybe, that's my guess, has attacked him. And he's missing a claw. And he's, I think he's also missing one leg. So in this side, got, this side got really, really traumatized. I don't really know why. But it's most likely the seagull. Anyway, that's how he looks like. Upside down, look at the size. It's freaking huge. And I'm gonna try to flip him back. But that's difficult, but he's gonna, he's gonna try to beat the living shit out of me because he thinks I'm the guy who captured him which I am but I he thinks he probably thinks I'm still the sequel or something so he's gonna try to survive and fight for his life because when I found him oh yep there we go when I found him he was near the beach and, and these big crabs don't really come near the beach so I think the sequel has dropped him there so the fight was very fresh but I could at least give him a few hours of rest and calm in the kayak oh now he's very fighting in the kayak for like three hours of kayaking he's on my foot now he's on my foot now okay oh 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 please don't oh, oh. <laughs> almost oh these guys are faster than I thought Yeah, there's no way I'm gonna pick him up now. Let's wait for him to come down. Look at that! Look at that magnificent creature! So freaking cool, holy shit! That might be one of the biggest crabs I have ever captured. I'm gonna try to give you guys some very nice and high quality footage here. And hopefully... Yeah, he's not moving. Which is great for us. Usually these guys are extremely feisty. Fast. I don't know how he faced the fast, I don't know how you say that. And they will try to get away as soon as they can. Look at that, that's such a good photo. So close and so detailed. If only I had my if only I had my Sony camera right now, this would be the perfect okay. I was gonna bring it anyway tomorrow. So this is another reason why I should and not forget. Don't worry bro, I won't hurt you. I brought you away from the city and probably from your home. I I'm sorry for that. Hopefully you had like no uh, nest or something. But this is a perfect place for you still. See? It's perfect. Just a bit more footage. Alright, he's a very cool guy, but we need him to pinch him now. I'm sure you guys would like to see that. Because I'm sure you guys often see these crabs and you guys catch them, if you can. These are very hard to catch. And you have always wondered what would happen if your finger got caught in that. So I'm gonna answer that for you right now. Let's see how painful. I'm gonna read the pain. Okay, guys, I can answer you. There you go. Let me, sh let me show you. <laughs> He's fine. I just yoink him, yoink him in the water. So there is the pinch. It is extremely painful. I, I thought it would be weaker to be completely honest. So yeah, if you can help it, don't get pinched. I don't think I ever got pinched in my life. I have only gotten this on purpose once so you guys can see how a huge crab like this can pinch you. 
keep in mind he's been out of like he hasn't been out of the water but like he's been out away and like emotion and like probably under a bit of distress for a few hours so he can probably pinch me even harder unless it's even harder than normally because of adrenaline i don't hide rocks i'll have to look up if these guys even have adrenaline or not i don't think they do but they can get agitated so yeah there's a pinch it did not break skin but it was extremely painful so be careful and respect the guys i put him back to the water now and bye bye